how to install Windows 11 ARM64 on MVIN or M2 Mac running macOS Ventura using the latest version of UTM. Hey guys, my name is KS Kiral. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run Windows 11 on a virtual machine on any Apple Silicon Mac. We are going to use the latest version of UTM4, which improves the overall performance of Windows 11 running on any MVIN or M2 Mac. As of now, by the time of recording this video, Windows 11 cannot be installed on bare metal on any Apple Silicon Mac. Thanks to the Apple for creating a powerful virtualization framework for Apple Silicon Macs that allows running Windows 11 on a virtual machine at near native speeds. Also keep in mind, we are installing an unofficial or evaluation copy of Windows 11 and will not receive any support from Microsoft. This is an experimental build and the only possible way to run Windows 11 on MVIN or M2 Mac at this moment. For demonstrating this video, I used MacBook Air with an M1 chip. As you can see, this is my MacBook Air with M1 chip running the beta version of macOS 13 Ventura. To install Windows 11 on MVIN or any Mac with Apple Silicon, you need to reserve a free space of at least 50 GB or higher. Then head over to these links using a web browser. The first link in the description takes you to this page. Just go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft free account and register for the Windows Insider program. Once you have done it, it should take you to this page and let you download the Windows 11 ARM64 image file. For now, I'm going to use the beta version. Then head over to the second link and download the UTM application, which will work on most of the Mac computers. For now, I'm going to download the beta of UTM version 4 via GitHub. Now, this will soon be available from the official website. Once it's done downloading, place them somewhere on your Mac for easier navigation. Then double tap on the UTM DMG file and drag the icon to the Applications folder. Now open the UTM application. This is the user interface of the UTM application. Let's go ahead and start creating a new virtual machine for Windows 11. To do so, click on this button. Under the Start menu, you will see two options, Virtualize and Emulate. Since we are installing the ARM edition of Windows 11, it's better to use the Virtualize for faster performance. If you are installing any Intel or AMD based OS on Apple Silicon, use emulation and you may experience a poor performance. So better use the OS that matches your computer architecture. For now, choose Virtualize, then select Windows. Make sure these two options are enabled. Now click on Browse and import Windows 11 virtual disk file. Also make sure this option is ticked that will download the UTM drivers. For the hardware, allocate 6 gigs of RAM and set CPU cores to 5. Now under the shared directory, you can allow any macOS folder to be accessed inside a Windows 11 through the file explorer. For now, I'm going to allow the downloads folder, then name the virtual machine and click on save. That's it, now we are done creating a virtual machine for Windows 11. Once it's done, give it some time to finish the changes. It's time to start the virtual machine. To do so, tap on the play button. For the first time, the virtual machine will reboot two times. After 3 to 5 minutes, you will see a Windows 11 setup. Keep in mind that when you tap inside a virtual machine, the cursor will be bounded to the guest OS. To release, press Ctrl plus Option to get the control of the cursor back to the host OS. Go ahead, choose your country and keyboard layout. Now you can see the virtual machine is having an issue with an internet connection. To fix this on your Mac, hold the function plus shift keys and press F10. 
you will see nothing is happening. Now hold Alt and press the Tab key to see the running applications. Select this window to open the command prompt. Inside here, type this command and press the Enter key to bypass this issue. After executing this command, the virtual machine will restart. Repeat the same process and choose the country and keyboard layout. But this time, you will see a new option to bypass the internet connection. Now agree to the terms and conditions, then create a user account and finish setting up Windows 11. Voila, now you can see Windows 11 has successfully installed inside a virtual machine. You may see some prompts, just go ahead and discard them. As you can see, Windows 11 runs super fast. Compared to Intel-based virtual machines, Apple Silicon chips are way faster and better in terms of virtualization. The first thing to do after installing Windows 11 is to set up the drivers. To do so, open the file manager and you can see that UTM has mounted the guest tools automatically. Go ahead, double tap on it and install them. This will fix all the issues regarding graphics, sound and the internet. Once it's done installing the drivers, go ahead and choose not to reboot now. Then shut down the virtual machine. Once it's complete shut down, click on the VM settings, choose display and enable retina mode. Now turn on the virtual machine. As you can see, Windows 11 is using full screen mode. Then go ahead, open settings and change the resolution. Then choose scale and set the value to 200%. Now open your file explorer, here you can see the shared folder of Mac OS. You can also use copy and paste clipboard memory between the guest OS and the host OS very easily. Now if you compare UTM with Parallels, I believe Parallels are much faster and help running Windows 11 games on M1 Mac. If you want to unleash the full power of Apple Silicon, I would suggest you buy Parallels to experience Windows 11 on a virtual machine at full speed. Now apart from this, UTM is a simple and free to use application and provides a lag-free user experience of Windows 11. For a simple task like browsing and editing documents, UTM is more than enough for an average user. If in case you decide to remove Windows 11, shut down the VM, then click on Windows 11 Entry and right click and choose to delete. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Windows 11 on any Mac with Apple Silicon. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. If you have any queries, post them below and I will try to help you. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to see a versatile tech content. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you at the next one.